I'm Salita Reynolds, General Manager of the Los Angeles Department of Transportation. You are watching part two of our informational video series describing our new transportation review methodology. Let me unpack the technical details of this new process. Using newly available comprehensive transportation data sources and site-specific trip information, we updated our tools to make sure our new process captures LA-specific characteristics rather than generalized averages from around the country. We updated and validated our travel demand forecasting model to help us understand where and how far people are traveling in any given area with a greater degree of accuracy. We collected trip and parking data from existing Los Angeles projects to estimate trip generation based on local travel patterns. Using this data, we built the city's own vehicle miles traveled calculator, which we can use to predict how neighborhood and site characteristics influence trip making. The calculator provides a menu of strategies proven to be effective in promoting sustainable travel and easing congestion from new development. So what does this mean for our project evaluation process? In short, we now evaluate a project's impact on vehicle miles traveled. Just as we do today, we will not require technical analyses for very small projects. For projects that do exceed initial screening criteria, we will have new guidelines and tools for practitioners to estimate the vehicle miles traveled impacts of those projects and indicate when they need to use our travel demand forecasting model. We also needed to decide how we assess project performance. What benchmark does the city use to determine an impact? California's Office of Planning and Research suggested comparing project vehicle miles traveled to a regional vehicle miles traveled per capita target. As you can see on the map, most areas of the city already generate much lower vehicle miles traveled per capita than the regional average, where our household vehicle miles traveled per capita is nearly half that of the region. This makes sense considering how easy it is to access housing and jobs using transit in the city relative to other cities. We asked a panel of peer professionals to help us determine a measure of comparison that would result in meaningful level of scrutiny in our evaluation process and would be tailored to account for the travel characteristics of the city's diverse neighborhoods. We chose Area Planning Commission geographic boundaries as the Vehicle Miles Traveled Benchmark Unit of Measurement to provide a fair level of comparison when reviewing a project's impact on travel. This helps guarantee context-sensitive development review so that a project in the San Fernando Valley is compared to the average vehicle miles traveled per capita in that area rather than being compared to the characteristics of different parts of the city. With this new approach, we work to simplify the process by developing a vehicle miles traveled calculator shown here to be used by all practitioners that do transportation impact studies. The calculator requests the user to input their project's location, planned uses, and project size to estimate its vehicle miles traveled. We customized it using local travel characteristics for each part of the city based on data from the city's travel model based on the transportation analysis zone where the project is located. The calculator considers housing affordability and local neighborhood characteristics that inform travel behavior such as access to transit or a proximity to diverse destinations. It also provides the user with options to include a wide range of travel demand management strategies proven to reduce vehicle miles traveled. On the right side of the screen, you can see how the calculator reports the estimated daily vehicle trips, daily vehicle miles traveled, and household or employee vehicle miles traveled per capita. There are many transportation demand management strategies that can help reduce vehicle miles traveled and congestion, including parking management, transit incentives, and network improvements. Our old method did not achieve these goals. Proposed projects can also take advantage of new mobility services to further expand choices, such as membership to car sharing. By providing a bundle of mobility options, we can encourage people to use the most sustainable one. As we analyze site-specific data from project monitoring reports we review in our city, we can refine the calculator with even greater accuracy around trip making and parking demand after these projects are open. We also expect to monitor the projects themselves closely and create agreements to make sure they are performing the way we hoped. We're working hard to update our review methods to show a more complete picture of transportation and deliver a happier travel experience for all Angelinos.